Uh, well, I started running uh, quite uh, at a later age. When I was actually uh, in my high school, it happened that I was uh, I, I discovered the, that I had talent way back when I was still in primary. But of course, uh, since my father wanted me to do something uh, different, he wanted me to become like a uh, study in school and become uh, a professional in something different. But uh, I started rerunning in 2013. It happened in 2012 when uh, Stephen Kiprotich uh, happened to have won uh, the Olympic Games in London. That was in 2012. And then a year after in Moscow in the World Championship, he did the same thing by winning the gold medal. So that was really something that I felt like uh, I need to follow my dream. I don't need to follow what my parents would really want me to do. I believe uh, in life there are always uh, two things. Either something makes you happy or something makes you hard. But here we are talking about uh, something that uh, brings sadness to you. I remember one time I was, uh, I was in Kaptagat and of course I happened to have a chat with, with of course, uh, Elliot Kipchoge who is part of the NN running team. And he, one time he told me that, uh, of course, we were having a conversation together with him and uh, he was actually uh, talking to me, inspiring me. And of course, one thing he told me about uh, uh, things that may not be necessarily a success, things that may, may be like if I fail to win a race or maybe I'm disappointed. He was like, uh, even if you really worry a lot, you are not going, you are not going to really make it the way it is. The past is the past. You only learn by it and of course keep hoping for the future. So I don't have any regrets in life. I only strive to become better in the future. That's how I, that's how I handle things. Kapchara is really a very beautiful place to be uh, in Uganda. Of course, the amazing, uh, the amazing people, the culture, the running culture, and of course, uh, you know, you've been to Kapchora, like uh, CB Falls, man, it's, it's really amazing. You really, uh, someone who has never been to a, a falls, of course, you'll appreciate if you came to Kapchora because it's amazing. It is always evergreen. And I can say it's a, a wonderland, of course. It's really a wonderland, you know. The time I started seriously with my career, of course, it was in uh, 2013. And of course, I was in my holidays, of course, uh, vacation, of course. And I started training seriously. And uh, it took me like a year or two. Then I became a world junior champion in 2014. That was in, uh, in the US, in Portland, Oregon. So quite two years. And of course, after that, of course, it took me again another three years to become a senior, to win a senior race in a, you know, like, like now a senior career, of course, like, uh, the other one was a junior race, so I, I, it took me again more three years to become uh, a champion, like winning silver in, in, in the World Championship, and of course, uh, uh, almost breaking the world record in, in, in Seven Hills. And then a year after, of course, I became the double Commonwealth Games champion, and now the world champion. So it took me a couple of like four years to become a senior champion, and two years to become a world junior champion. I would be very grateful if I can still do one of the track uh, records, especially the 5K or the, or, or the 10K, either of the two. I would be really, I would really feel so great, so great. And, you know, I would feel really so awesome if I can really break the track world record. I would be really the happiest person. Uh, uh, yeah. I think uh, 160, 150, you know, like kilometers per, yeah, of course, per week. I think that's it. Uh, of course, about uh, gym and weights, I do not really do any weights and any gym. I, what, what I only do is that I do cost ability, which involves working with only your body weight. And that's the best for me. It, I mean, it, it, it really works for me, of course. The first race I ever did was, uh, I did a 10K, uh, in Kapchara, of course, some people were trying to select uh, the team for that club. So I happened to be part of the 
of the run and of course i became number six something like that but then they only wanted like four people to be in that club that was in uh, 2012. i think uh with the with the look of things now with the COVID 19 uh, a lot of care needs to be taken, of course, from the, 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 the of course, the athletes, of course, the event organizers, and of course, uh, the governments, of course. But uh, supposing the world gets back to normal, of course, the business, of course, I would like to really do the World Half Marathon Championship. And maybe before that, I can, I am also, I also intend to do maybe one track event. And then later the World Half Marathon Championship in uh, in Poland, and then maybe something in the roads, maybe 10k. Yeah, I think everybody is a is a threat, man. You don't know how someone is preparing now, so the best is uh, to prepare in your favor, and uh, you know your strength, and you know you are, you know, of course, and you prepare for it. Yeah, I think I don't really prepare for that one. I just depending on how I really feel happy. So the excitement, of course, comes with different jubilation, of course. It's not really something that I always keep on mastering or doing it or something like that. So it's just something that comes from my heart, yeah. <laughs> That's an, that one is a, a little bit difficult, but uh, of course, Elliot has been saying that uh, no man is limited. So you never know. You never know could be could be also one of uh, a few things to discover if, if I can really uh, do that. Of course, I would be grateful. Of course, I would, I would, I would say that um, I, would, I, would, I would maybe try something uh, like that in the future, of course, but I, I, I really respect uh, Elut. He is a really, he's a really great athlete. He's a great champion and uh, he has come a long way. So uh, the best is to learn from him, of course, how he has been racing in, uh, in these marathons, of course, and uh, you know, that's the best thing that I, I want to, you know, Enjoy, yeah.